Bethany area is trying to save her mother's life, and she's getting an awful lot of support from, from her entire school. Mm -hmm. Medical reporter Liz Bonas stopped by to meet this mother-daughter duo today. She joins us now with a heartwarming story. Liz, good afternoon. I know they are all watching at this school, you guys, so hang on. I don't know about you, but my mom is my best friend, and this is one of those stories where you ask yourself, how far would you go to help save your own mother's life? Well, one student at Butler Tech has been doing everything possible, and teachers and students there are giving her a lot of support. Shelby McNabb is a cosmetology student who has always loved helping people look and feel better. And I just like boosting people's like confidence and stuff like that. So imagine her sadness when the one person she wants most in the world to help feel better, her mom, who she invited to class today, well, she can't help her mom at all. I have an um, IgA nephropathy and it, um, I went in total renal failure. IgA nephropathy slowly shuts down the kidney's filtration rate. So three days a week, Shelby's mom, Connie, now goes to dialysis so these machines can filter her kidneys. I know that it keeps her alive, but it's so hard to watch her be always so sick afterwards. Connie's only path to recovery is a kidney donor, and Shelby's not old enough to be that donor. So when staff members noticed Shelby's sadness about finding one, they decided they would help. It sounds like uh, the whole school kind of got behind this. We really did. Tell we really that. did. They started with yard signs that look like this, which they let me use for this story. I told them I had to do a tease for TV, and they thought we meant a hair tease. That got this creative team thinking, however, thinking big. I said, hey, can we use the marquee? That's a huge yard sign. Sure enough, watch this. For the whole world to see, when this sign lights up, it really says to Shelby, We care. We will do what it takes, you know, to help them be successful. And that means their family. And so when they're having problems, we're all involved with it. It's a colorful message from a team that knows a thing or two about color. It shouldn't be very long. It's already brought in a handful of potential donors for Connie, but so far, no match. We're family here. We, we truly are. I just think it's so cool that there's people out there that care so much about somebody. And it's all in God's timing. It is. Quite a message. If you or someone you love might be willing to be tested to be a kidney donor, even if you don't match Connie, you'll still or you could be in the registry to help someone else. That number to call 513-309-5228. That's a number where you can get a hold of someone in her family that will direct you to the right person. We will continue to follow the story. We're going to send this out to our other Sinclair stations and hope that she can find a match. By the way, these are what they call living donors now. So yeah, yeah. potentially if you're healthy and over age 18, which her daughter is not, you could be tested for